Life is a big school. We all have to learn. High atop the peaks of Mount Olympus, the gods of ancient Greece made their home. This was a place of beauty, power, and wonder, where the gods lived and ruled over the mortal world. From their perches on Mount Olympus, the gods could see the entire world spread out before them, and they took their duties as rulers very seriously. Hermes, the messenger of the gods, was dispatched by Zeus to summon all twelve gods to the throne room of Mount Olympus. The summons of Hermes echoes through the celestial halls of Mount Olympus, calling forth the gods. Each deity, with their unique personalities and abilities, made their way to the throne room with haste, eager to hear what news had befallen the immortal world. Zeus calls forth Hera, goddess of marriage and childbirth, wife of Zeus, come forth to the council. Greetings, my lord Zeus. May your wisdom guide us today. Zeus calls forth Poseidon, god of the sea and earthquakes, ruler of the oceans, come forth to the council. Hail Zeus, king of the gods. May your rule be just and your power never falter. Zeus calls forth Demeter, goddess of agriculture and harvest, keeper of the crops, come forth to the council. All hail Zeus, king of Mount Olympus, bringer of the seasons and giver of life. Zeus calls forth Athena, goddess of wisdom, strategy, and warfare, protector of cities, come forth to the council. Mighty Zeus, your intellect is unmatched and your power is unrivaled. I am honored to be in your presence. Zeus calls forth Apollo, god of the sun, music, and prophecy, bringer of light, come forth to the council. Zeus, the embodiment of strength and authority, I come in peace and with respect. Zeus calls forth Artemis, goddess of the hunt and the moon, lady of the wilderness, come forth to the council. Waiting Zeus, the light in the darkness, the beacon of hope. Your rule is just and your reign eternal. Zeus calls forth Ares, god of war and violence, lord of battles, come forth to the council. King Zeus, may your sword be ever sharp, your enemies vanquished and your rule unchallenged. Zeus calls forth Aphrodite, goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality, queen of desire, come forth to the council. Dearest Zeus, your grace and beauty are unmatched, and your love for your people is unyielding. May your rule be blessed. Zeus calls forth Hephaestus, god of blacksmiths, fire, and metalworking, master of the forge, come forth to the council. Zeus, the bringer of joy and the giver of life. Your rule is the epitome of happiness, and I am honored to be in your presence. Zeus calls forth Dionysus, god of wine, fertility, and madness. Lord of revelry, come forth to the council. Hail Zeus, the ruler of all. May your rule be unshakable and your power ever present. Zeus calls forth Hades, god of the underworld and the dead. Ruler of the underworld, come forth to the council. Hail Zeus, the ruler of all. May your rule be unshakable and your power ever present. Zeus calls forth Hermes, god of messengers, commerce, and thieves. Guide of souls, come forth to the council. Greetings, Zeus, my lord, my king. Your swiftness is unmatched and your wit is unrivaled. As they entered the grand halls, they were greeted by the sight of Zeus seated upon his throne his countenance stern as he gazed upon his subjects. The atmosphere was electric, filled with a sense of expectancy, as the gods took their seats and awaited the words of their king. The throne room of Zeus was an imposing sight, its grandiose architecture and imposing columns a testament to the power of the gods. The room was illuminated by the warm glow of torches, casting flickering shadows upon the walls as the deities conversed among themselves speculating as to the reason for the council. The conversation was hushed as Zeus rose from his throne, his voice ringing out across the room. My gods and goddesses, a great conflict has arisen between us. 
Our worshippers are divided, each vying for the devotion of the mortals. This cannot be allowed to continue, for it threatens to destabilize the very fabric of the mortal world. With bated breath, the gods listened as Zeus spoke, each word filling them with determination to resolve this conflict. They knew that their actions had far-reaching consequences and that they needed to work together to find a solution that would preserve the balance of the universe. They were determined to use their divine powers to resolve this conflict and restore peace to the world of mortals. As the council adjourned, the gods made their way to the gardens of Mount Olympus, eager to continue their discussions and work towards a resolution. The gardens were a peaceful oasis, filled with fragrant flowers and trickling fountains, a stark contrast to the tension of the throne room. Apollo, the god of the sun, was the first to speak. It is clear that we must find a way to reconcile our worshippers and restore balance to the world. But how do we do that? Athena, the goddess of wisdom, nodded in agreement. We must work together to find a solution that is fair to all. But first, we must understand what is causing this conflict in the first place. The conversation continued as the gods debated the root cause of the conflict, each offering their own perspectives and insights. Some gods pointed to the growing influence of the cults of mystery, while others pointed to the growing secularism of the mortal world. As the conversation continued, the gods began to find common ground. They realized that the conflict was not just about devotion, but about the changing nature of the mortal world and their place within it. The gods were determined to find a solution that would ensure their continued relevance and the preservation of the balance of the universe. It was then that Hera, the queen of the gods, spoke up. We must come together and show our worshippers the true power of our unity. We must demonstrate that despite our differences, we are all one, and that we will always stand together to protect the mortal world. The gods nodded in agreement, their determination to resolve this conflict growing with each passing moment. They would work together to find a solution, for the sake of the mortal world and for the preservation of the balance of the universe. As the discussions continued, Athena stood and spoke, her voice ringing with authority. We have been talking for hours, and yet we still have not found a solution to our problem. Perhaps it is time we seek the advice of the Oracle at Delphi. The other gods nodded in agreement, for the Oracle at Delphi was renowned for her wisdom and foresight. It was decided that a delegation would be sent to consult the Oracle and receive her guidance. The delegation set out from Mount Olympus, eager to reach the oracle at Delphi and receive her wisdom. They were led by Hermes, the fleet-footed messenger of the gods, and consisted of Poseidon, the god of the sea, Apollo, the god of music and prophecy, and Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. As they traveled through the rugged terrain of Greece, they encountered many obstacles and challenges. The journey was long and treacherous, and they were often forced to face their fears and work together to overcome their obstacles. Poseidon's mastery of the sea proved to be a valuable asset as they crossed rivers and navigated the rocky coastlines. Apollo's skill with the lyre and his knowledge of the future helped to soothe their spirits and guide them through the dangers that lay ahead. Artemis, with her keen senses and her prowess as a hunter, helped them to find food and shelter. Through cooperation and collaboration, the delegation was able to overcome every obstacle that lay in their path. They grew closer as they journeyed together, their bonds of friendship strengthened by their shared experiences. At last, they arrived at Delphi and approached the Oracle's temple. The delegation was filled with a sense of awe as they stepped inside, for the temple was a place of great power and mystery. They approached the Oracle, bowing in reverence, and asked for her wisdom. The oracle spoke, her voice ringing with a strange, otherworldly power. The solution to your conflicts lies within yourselves. Only by embracing your differences and working together will you be able to restore balance to the world. With the wisdom of the oracle ringing in their ears, the delegation set out on the journey back to Mount Olympus. They were eager to share their newfound understanding with the rest of the gods and help resolve the conflicts that had arisen between them. As they approached the council chamber, they could sense a palpable sense of tension in the air. The other gods were gathered, awaiting their return, and they listened intently as the delegation presented the oracle's answer. The gods were shocked by the oracle's answer, for it was not what they had expected. 
But as they delved deeper into its meaning, they began to understand their role in the mortal world and how their conflicts were affecting the balance between the two realms. They realized that the mortals worshipped them, but that their worship was driven by fear as well as love. The gods also understood that their conflicts with one another had a direct impact on the lives of mortals. If they did not find a way to resolve their differences and restore balance, the mortals would suffer. With this newfound understanding, the gods were able to reach a consensus. They decided to work together to restore balance and harmony between themselves and their worshippers. They agreed to set aside their differences and put the needs of the mortals first. Let us end this council with a renewed commitment to our responsibilities as gods. We may have different beliefs and opinions, but we must always remember that our actions have consequences beyond ourselves. We must work together to maintain the balance of the universe and ensure the well-being of mortals. Thank you for your contributions to this council. May we all return to our duties with a renewed sense of purpose and a commitment to harmony and peace. As the Council of the Gods came to a close, each deity returned to their respective domains, filled with a sense of renewed purpose. Hermes, the messenger of the gods, returned to his duties of delivering messages and guiding souls to the underworld. Poseidon, the god of the sea, returned to the depths of the ocean to continue his rule over the seas. Apollo, the god of the sun and music, returned to his temple in Delphi, where he presided over the oracle and dispensed his wisdom to all who sought it. Artemis, the goddess of the hunt and the moon, returned to the forests and glades, where she protected the animals and oversaw the cycles of nature. And so, the gods watched over the mortal world, determined to maintain peace and stability. They remembered the lessons they had learned on their journey to Delphi and the wisdom they had gained from the oracle. And they were resolved to use that wisdom to guide their actions, always putting the needs of the mortals first. The story of the gods and their journey to Delphi is one of wisdom, unity, and determination. It reminds us of the importance of working together to resolve conflicts and maintain balance, and of the role the gods play in our lives, even today.